To those of you out there who hate white kitchens, I would challenge you with this image. It's basically an all white kitchen, but it's not stark or cold. And that's because there's a lot of detail and a lot of richness in it. As long as you inject some personality, it's not going to feel like a hospital. There's a lot of little details in this kitchen that make me really happy, but I have to say, honestly, two of them are these beautiful rock crystal chandeliers. The truth is, I bought those chandeliers four years ago, knowing that when I renovated the kitchen, they'd be going in here. So they've been sitting in a box in our storage locker for four years, just waiting for this moment, and I couldn't be happier with how they look. I knew I was going with an all-white kitchen and I thought I'm going to have an all-white countertop as well. So I went with a beautiful quartz, which to many may be a challenging decision, but quartz is so durable it's actually really easy to maintain. So although it is an all-white kitchen, I definitely wanted it to have some pizzazz, let's say. So I chose to go with an antique nickel finish in all of the cabinet hardware and the lighting. I think it's really rich and elegant and gives it a very subtle pop. So many years ago in my very first home, I renovated and I went to a large single sink and I will never ever go back. And I'm a big advocate for that with my clients. So this Blanco Steel Art sink is absolutely perfect. It is the best sink on the market in my opinion and I will never go back to a double. Often when you use a larger sink in a kitchen, it helps to balance the stove because obviously the stove is quite large and a lot of presence. And by doing a big single, it helps to give it some weight. Definitely one of my favorite features is the new Blanco Salenta Senso Faucet. I could not be happier with it. It's an absolutely gorgeous design. It's got that semi-pro curved arc to it. It has a dual spray, a magnetic hold, but the best part in my opinion is that it's sensor operated. So when you're busy in the kitchen and your hands are dirty or messy, you set the temperature in advance and just with a quick wave you can turn it on and off. I am hooked. Another thing I love is that they come with all kinds of optional accessories. Obviously the grid at the bottom helps to keep the sink clean and undamaged from things dropping into it, but you also have great things like colanders, which are very, very functional when you're cooking. I think one of my favorite details, however, is the cap flow, because it hides all the muck that's underneath it and doesn't affect the flow of the sink at all. If you're renovating your kitchen, I think a couple of things to consider are space plan very, very carefully. Every inch counts, especially in small kitchens. So it's often worth spending a little bit more to get custom to make sure you're maximizing your space. So I wanted to keep the brick veneer and I painted it, which looks fantastic, but I couldn't handle it on the fireplace and I wanted a totally new look. I went with a full slab of beautiful gray veined marble, which ties in all the colors and tones, not only in the kitchen, but the rest of the home and really is a focal point in the kitchen. The other thing I did was accent with Lucite. I've always been a big fan of Lucite, so from the fireplace tools to the stools to all the little accents and the salt and pepper grinders, it just gives it that lovely sparkle. So here's actually a funny story. I found this vintage Lucite fireplace set many years ago at an antique store downtown, and I loved it, but unfortunately, it was missing the poker, and really, that's the only part that you actually need. So my father is incredibly talented and handy and I challenged him with a picture and the measurements and said, Dad, make me a poker. And two weeks later, this showed up in the mail, made from an old fireplace poker he had, a ski pole, a piece of conduit, and a clevis pin. Love you, Dad. <laughs>